The patient may be positioned in either prone position or lateral decubitus position. In parallel plating, it is customary to reduce and secure provisionally all of the fracture fragments prior to the plate application using guide pins or reduction forceps. The distal humerus plates can be used as parallel or perpendicular combinations depending on the fracture types. Select appropriate plates for the distal humerus fractures and use the guide pins for the temporary fixations of the plates. Use a drill guide in the oblong hole for the first screw drilling. Use a depth gauge to measure the drilling depth for selecting appropriate screw size. Use a non-locking screw in the oblong hole for the plate fixation. Insert the locking screws in the distal part of the plate. When desired fixation and the compression are achieved using locking or non-locking screws to fill remaining holes.